Hey, my name is Travis Ost. I'm a barber here at Loyal Sons. I've been cutting hair for a little over four years now. I like to provide modern styles as well as classic cuts. I know full well that you walk into my chair and you don't get paid to understand barber terminology. So when you ask me for a haircut, I like to walk through it and find out exactly what you're talking about. So we're speaking the same terms, the same language, and at the end of the day, you walk out feeling like you got exactly what you want. Working at Loyal Sons is like working in a room with your friends. You get to see your friends that come to work with you every day, and you also get to see the friends that come through the door. We deliberately don't have TVs in here to promote conversation. We also cut along such talented guys that each of us push each other to be better barbers, and we continually get better and better at our craft just by working alongside one another. A haircut is more than a haircut. It's taking care of your self-esteem, a confidence booster. It just makes you stand up a little straighter. And to know that something that I can provide at the end of a half an hour makes someone feel good and to know that I provided that for someone is is so cool and it's it may seem simple or something we take for granted but it's something that can bring a lot of people in or and out of joy and as of Friday salons and gyms will close when they will reopen will be left really up to the community and, and the governor. The coronavirus case numbers going through the roof, especially in rural areas. KCCI's Bo Bowman yeah, sat down with two public health Iowa officials to find out how the state, state of is on. seeing COVID hospitalizations hit a record. When we got shut down, uh, it was a mixture of emotions for a lot of us. It was relief, it was concern, but mostly we didn't know we were going to get money. If we don't cut hair, we don't get paid. Um, there was there was minimal financial relief for barbers and. A lot of our families felt the stress of that, but at the same time, we got to spend a lot of time at home, uh, time we never would have allotted under normal circumstances. And I had a baby girl who was three months old at the time, so I was just cashing in on this family time and being home, going on walks. It was tough, man, but there was so much silver lining to look at and so much to appreciate. Hey, I love you. Part of the reason I do what I do is because I had the support of my wife and my family who were behind me when I left my desk job to go to barber college for a year and take a huge gamble. When I ask my daughter what she wants to be when she grows up, I hope she says happy and not a career and not a profession. I want her to follow dreams that that fulfill her and not identify herself by her 